Stephen Crane was a 19th century American writer best known for his novels The Red Badge of Courage and Maggie, A Girl of the Streets. Crane was one of America's most influential realist writers. He produced works that have been credited with establishing the foundations of modern American naturalism. His Civil War novel The Red Badge of Courage, written in 1895, realistically depicts battlefield psychology and emotion and has become a literary classic. Born in 1871 in New Jersey, Stephen Crane was the youngest of 14 children. His mother was a writer and his father was a methodologist minister. He was raised by his older sister. He attended prep school at Claverack College and he later spent two years overall as a college student at Lafayette College in Eastern Pennsylvania and then at Syracuse University in upstate New York. He moved to Patterson, New Jersey with one of his brothers and made frequent trips to nearby New York City, writing short pieces on what he experienced there. Crane moved to New York and his literary career began. He was writing for the New York Tribune and living a bohemian lifestyle. He lived among art artists. He wrote about the poverty all around. He focused mostly on the Bowery District in Manhattan. This was once a very good place with shops and giant mansions. But after the Civil War, it turned into a rundown area full of poor and homeless. Crane began his first book while in college. Once he got to New York and saw the reality of poverty and the unfortunate, he put in much more detail. The book was Maggie, A Girl of the Streets. This was a story about an innocent girl who ended up being abused and eventually is forced into prostitution. She later then commits suicide. The descriptions were very detailed in the book and publishers wouldn't publish it even though it had good reviews. He published it himself in 1893 and ended up penniless. In 1895, Crane published his most famous novel, The Red Badge of Courage. This book follows a soldier's individual emotions and experiences during a civil war battle. This book's writing style became very popular because of its authenticity and the detailed realistic descriptions of violence and the horror of war. Crane was never in the military, but studied detail after detail of events. Following success with this book and his interest in battle psychology, he became a war correspondent. He tried to go to Cuba during insurrection, but his boat sank and he was drifted at sea for three days. He made a book about this experience. He then went to Greece to follow the Greece-Turkey War. He then traveled to England and continued to write. Each of his novels after Red Badge got negative reviews and he was also running out of money. Crane's health got very bad very quickly. He had lots of diseases from years of war reporting. He checked into a health spa in Germany and died one month later from tuberculosis. Crane was 28 years old when he died. The book An Episode of War was written 30 years after the Civil War had ended. The incident described in the book is of an officer who was shot during a battle in the war. Crane's life in the Bowery taught him a style of writing that was intended to just be pretty. It was intended to bring real scenes from life into the open. These scenes depicted some very difficult situations including poverty and the horrors of war. Crane's method gives insight into the minds and emotions of those involved rather than broad generalizations. This literature in Crane's style telling many emotions people feel at terrible moments. Crane does not use people's names though, just their rank. This means it could be the emotions of any soldier could feel at a moment like this. The story goes from relaxing to horror instantly. The lieutenant is shot in the arm and seems to not know how to respond. He notices there is a large battle nearby and seems to wander aimlessly. His soldiers are confused about what to do. This shows how, in a sudden moment like that, it is hard to think clearly due to the emotions once it's going through. Crane describes the battle in detail, not the movement of troops or strategy, but instead the sights and sounds. He described the sound of the cannon battery as a war chorus that reached into the depths of a man's heart. The story goes on describing the lieutenant's encounters as he wanders. During an encounter with an officer, he was told he was not caring for his injury. Crane says the lieutenant hung his head, feeling that he did not know how to correctly wound him. This is another example of how Crane focuses on emotion in the time of battle. Once at the hospital, the lieutenant's emotions were on a roller coaster. The doctor said he would tend to the arm, and Crane describes the lieutenant's feelings as a fear inside him since he would likely have it amputated. Then the lieutenant was relieved when he was told he would not have to have it amputated at all. After he gets home, missing his right arm, the surgeon actually did amputate it and intended to all along. He sees his sobbing wife and says, Oh well, standing shame face amid these tears, I don't suppose it matters so much as all that. 
Frank concludes the story with those emotions. 